Horror Night! And we switched again in the middle of doing stuff. Yeah, pretty typical. Anywho, this Mo Madura. Uh, right, we can turn into a cat now, which is cool. Um, will help us get through a few puzzles. We need to find a handkerchief so we can fight this dumb boss, whom I hate. She's actually really cool. I just, she's she's just a struggle. I don't know why I'm still right over here. I can teleport now. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. We ate. Our roommate made Ratatouille, which we never had before. And neither have we seen the movie Ratatouille. Ooh, we. And so it was just like, oh, this is kind of cool. Wow, these enemies are strong. That's fine. I'm just trying to find any uh, secret cat ways. That's definitely not it. Boop. 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 Nope. 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 Let's switch to... Magnet Stone. Give me all the monies. Aw. I can't reach. That's okay. Heal. It only heals if you save. <laughs> Although I think there's a a shopkeeper we missed, which is gonna be good. Oh, that was useful. <gasps> Ooh, health. I feel like these spikes are instant death. I feel like these spikes are instant death. Woo! Magical girl spin. Doing pretty well so far. Oh. Ooh. Got Cinder Key. Oh, that's really important to have. We can open doors down here now. Oh, 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 it doesn't kill us. Oh, it wasn't instant death. I'm so happy. Oh, I love not instant death. Boop. Oh, that was lucky. I don't think I want to go that way. I'm just about to teleport. To where I am. Nice. Oh. Okay, we were just mother fudge cake. I can't get back up. <laughs> Aww. And I have to go in a circle. <laughs> sits its five, the neighbor of the beast. Whoa. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Oh, that was... That was almost tragedy. Oh. I bought these things already? Oh, Dang. Dodging in this game is hard as heck. Ugh. Meanie. Did that bomb give me... Like, I think that bomb had made a, a... Monies. That was weird. Okay, I should be able to... Be able to open this door now. Use Cinder Key. Oh, what? I've never seen the enemy do that before. Goodbye. Oh, more health. Magical girl spin. I wonder what this does. Probably something, right? <laughs> I 
Eh. Gonna be a furry. Oh, right, I need to transform back. <laughs> yeah. Do 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 do. This is one of those games that feels really well designed, and when I like die or mess up, I don't really feel like it's the fault of the developers. I feel like it's completely my fault, which is a much, which is a much better feeling. <laughs> oh shit! I did not mean to do that. It furry time. Ooh, my extra, my extra power attack still lasts when I'm <gasps> in kitty mode. That's good to know. Um. There's a forlorn monastery. Not exactly where I need to be. What's the map say? Um, we've been through all those places. Oh, oh, but it's like so far. Oh, well, now it doesn't matter because we can't get back up. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Oh wait, save first, because we got so many power-ups literally just now. And then... I literally actually don't know where the next place we're gonna need to go is. So actually we'll go uh, back to Subterranean Grave. I guess we're just gonna be like... Collecting stuff for this first part, because I know that there's at least a merchant somewhere we haven't bought everything from. it will be nice to get stuff from before we do the next boss battle, because the next boss battle is going to be hard. Even if we don't do the thing where we try not to get hit. Which I feel like we should save for like a ch ch challenge. Um, like a challenge stream. Uh, that's back to Craft City. Whoop. Learn areas a little bit better. Ah! Don't hurt me. <laughs> Those swinging thingies always remind me of Sonic. Um, Sonic 2 specifically. Can I even get up here? Yep. Oh, there's nothing there. I don't trust you, blood ghost witch person. Very eerie. Definitely feels different than uh, Voitarium, that's for sure. Boop. Just floating. <laughs> now I'm thinking of Modest Mouse. Just float on. Oh! Yay! I wonder why I can breathe underwater. Dirty mushroom? Oh! I know what the dirty mushroom is for. The dirty mushroom is for the... The... The enemy that's not an enemy in the first area I was dealing with a lot where it's like, I don't have anything for you or I don't want to talk to a silly girl like you. I can give her the mushroom. And she makes a reference to some other video game. A game that I've never played or n and never heard of. But it's it's cute. Uh transform. I do wish I could use the ladder as a cat. It's so lame that I can't. It must suck to be a ghost. Getting shot in the face all the time. Yeah. Yes, my relationship with death is different depending on the game. With Void Terrarium, I don't care. With this game, it's like, I have actual fear when I die. Maybe just because of the loss of progress is just so much more pronounced. Okay, don't need to be a cat for that. <laughs> And I 
think we've gone all the way through there. Okay, we may have actually done all the things. Let's see. Let's see if we can see a gap in our map. Yep, I see a gap. And there's a save point next to it, just in case. But I don't think we'll still be in this area, which is totally fine. It's just getting through all the gaps in the map is the best way to make sure you got everything. Oh, more water. Ugh. Maybe IGN would give this a low score because it has too much water. Okay. Now I have to go up even farther. I wonder if that's like the placey place we need to go, like the last area of the game. It might be. I don't actually know yet. No, I don't think it is. She looks like she has a mushroom on her head. This is like hold your breath music. Ugh! I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. <laughs> Real games hurt <laughs> you immediately if you touch water. Oh, I didn't realize I was playing a fake game. Well, you know me, I'm a fake gamer girl. Ah! Although, Sign gave me a lot of anxiety as a kid because of the theme right before you would drown. It's just like, it would make me panic so much that I would end up drowning from just being scared. Okay. Yep. That, that was not a useful place to be yet. Huh. Well, that's okay. I got to farm for, for monies. The sprites for this game are so fudging cute. Even the most intimidating enemy that scares the crap out of me still, like, makes me smile because of their design. Like, I wouldn't mind almost any character in this game as a um, as a stuffy. Although obviously I would have um, preferences. Oof! I almost got crushed by that boulder. I don't know if it kills you instantly or if it just does a ton of damage. Yeah, I don't ever want to find out. Still can't go down there yet. That dog was almost hard to see. I just realized maybe that was on purpose that they made uh, the enemies look so close to the wall. Um. Okay, I see another gap in the map. And straight ahead. Hi, butler person. I guess the next boss is going to be Handkerchief Lady. Cathedral Camouflage. Which is actually kind of fudged up considering, you know, they're like evil ghosts and stuff. And it's like the Cathedral should be the last place they blend in. But then again, the church is evil. Oh, how do I find all the super cute and interesting games? Uh, Well, I guess the short answer would be I'm a gamophile. The longer answer would be that I try my best to, to like, look at folks that would uh, recommend games. In terms of indie games, uh, we are really into... Um, uh, there's a YouTube channel. Oh, those do damage regardless. Okay, okay. Ah! At least I saved. That was actually kind of depressing. Um, was that Alpha? 
I think it's called Alpha Beta Gamer, and they just do uh, like short let's plays of indie games. Uh, we know through that. Um, we also like check out Steam regularly. Um, as a as a streamer and just someone who likes games, we have a lot of uh, friends that uh, play video games, or we run around Twitch looking at uh, games that are like. Uh, in the games and demo section because there are certain games that just uh aren't popular enough to get the to get like an image or whatever so they're a little bit harder to find um and then of course uh like there are just indie game studios as well that uh really uh try to stay afloat because you know it's really hard to do that especially nowadays but uh it can get really awesome when you see that uh, indie studio is thriving. One of our favorite indie studios. Oh, ooh, boss time. Oh, uh, one of our favorite indie studios is Pillow Fight, and they do a lot of visual novels. Uh, none of which I think we've. Oh no, no, we 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 did a video essay about one of them. Heaven will be mine, which we really need to start streaming again. Um, Gosh, I guess we just make it our business to just be like, is this an indie game? Is this a cool game? Ooh, I like this. Uh, and there's a tag. Um, we'll try to put it somewhere, maybe on our on our official Twitter or something. There's a tag that's been going around recently, uh, a hashtag. This is just literally like uh, that a lot of indie devs have been using. Um, and most of the people using this hashtag are using are using it for games that they're developing right now. But some of them have demos and stuff, uh, and those like look really, really. And some of these games look really, really, really good. Uh, and so those are a lot of ways that we find indie games. We just are like so obsessed about good games, and we try to avoid AAA games for the most part, just because of all the parasitic practices and stuff. It's just so gross, you know. Um, Crosscode we actually found because of Digine, because it's one of Digine's favorite games, apparently. And she was doing, uh, like, a Let's Play uh, series. It was just She just played games that she's, that she's good at, uh, and it just happened to be one of the games. I was just like, this looks really good. And a friend had already recommended it, so we were just like, yeah, we'll play this game as well. Oh, visual novels are so great. We're so... We so feel so bad that we took so long to actually like be okay with playing them and weren't embarrassed. But now we aren't anymore. Okay. <clears throat> the queen destroyed this kingdom's faith. This convent, our abode, is all that's left for those who pray. Maiden in white, you are not one of us. Perhaps you are siding with the queen? Look at what she's done to this kingdom. It is my duty to expunge that evil. I feel really bad about this boss fight considering she's like, maybe you're siding with the queen and it's like, we're literally not doing that. We're doing the exact opposite of that. We should be on the same fudging side. Oh, I forgot you flinched too. I love how she does black flips in a fucking Victorian dress. You're wasting your life. Oh shit. Okay. We're powering up our weapons, alright? Sorry. Why, my lord? Huh. Magical girl spin. You found a crest fragment. It's the essence that grants you the ability to a new bow charge level. Nice. Let's test that out. 
<laughs> she got so bored charging. Oh, I like that. Um, yes, I did just defeat her with a tail whip. Because I am a furry and I love beating bosses as the cat. But since you can't use the thingy as the cat, the uh, bow and arrow, it was just like, okay, I'll wait till like the end of the fight. Oh, now we can get into the next area. I don't know why we went this way. We could have just teleported using the bell. That was okay. Damn. I also, I also feel like that was a super easy boss battle. Human versus human boss battles can be really uh, easy as opposed to the other ones. Although, almost every boss in this game uses some type of, like, um, like distance magic or, like, something that, like... Some like big magic that kind of appears out of nowhere. Um, I've been all through here. No, thank you. I don't want any. I shouldn't be able to get through here yet. Yeah, I still need that handkerchief. Under the sacred protection of our Lord, let us pray for the souls of the departed and for those wasted by the dark. Please, my Lord. Have mercy on the soul of this poor sister, so she can rest in peace. Bitch, I'm not dead! <laughs> what the fudge? <laughs> I have issues with that. Wait. Okay, I was like, there's no one, no, no one in the convent anymore? That would have been weird. Um... Wow, we've been all through here, apparently. I'm glad that skull head is just kind of chilling. Uh, I guess we should just teleport to a different area. Maybe the, um, the flowery area. White Leaf Memorial Park. Although, I do know we beat a boss here already. Let's see. Mmm. Okay, I see a place. <laughs> Clerics be like, I know a place. And they take you here. I did not mean to turn into a cat. But sometimes you just go, Meowzers! Let's try a charge shot out. Heh <laughs> you're dead. Gosh, that's fun. It's like having a gun. <laughs> uh, let's check it again. And it's just a little bit further down. Oh, I made it cry. Oh, drop a little bit. Okay, almost there, almost there. And okay, it's down. And there's a save. Okay, maybe this is a. Maybe this is a shop keep what items I haven't bought yet. Dull Pearl. Grants poison properties to your arrows. Ooh, yes. Yes. I will mess up bosses so much. But you have to be careful because uh, uh, I think it makes like, like a little dust cloud. Yeah, and you can actually poison yourself. Wait, let me make sure I saved. I'm so paranoid. Especially when I just bought a new item. Okay. Huh. I thought I had been through here already because of the boss fight. Oh, it's just that there's nothing fudging over here. Okay, I did complete the map there now. So next time we play, we'll not be like, Ooh, what's over here? And there's nothing. Let's see. Everything else seems to be completed. So that's fine. We can leave the park. Uh, Forlorn Monastery, Subterranean Grave. Well, let's go back here, because I think literally Crest City, I now have the completed crest. So I should be able to get into that, uh, warded off area, which is technically a last area of the game, but like, we definitely won't be beating it, uh, on this stream. Um, with any luck, we'll probably be being at NetStream, though. 
Oh, look at all my special items. I open the door. Boop. No, you don't. Ooh, cat girl. Huh? Oh, who are you? How did you get here? Get out, outsider. Now, you're giving me the creeps. Why are you still here? What is it that you desire? I just want to kill the queen. Um, whatever you say. I am Nutmeg Liz, curator of this royal pinnacata. Like I told you before, leave. I wish there was a reason for you to stick around, but there isn't. Y you have business with the queen? Well, that's rare. Do you realize... No, never mind. Be glad you're still alive and breathing. Don't worry, though. Your time is coming. <laughs> Alright. Evil. She cute, though. Oh, I can break these? Okay. I thought they were just weird lights, but I guess they're like eggs or something? Ooh. Intimidating skeleton with a mailman hat. I don't think I can poison ghosts, but then again, most of the enemies in this game are ghosts, so... Probably I can. Ah, more health. Oh gosh, it's been so great. Oh, it's the mini versions of that boss we fought. So cute. Ah! How dare you? Don't you know who I am? Ah, the sacred leaf. Yeah, I'm gonna save this for a boss. Like, I don't want to accidentally poison myself. Uh, let's do the magnet stone. Ooh. I like that the enemy has a tail. I mean, I think most of the enemies in the game have a tail for their, um, for their range attacks. Huh? Freaking paintings. You can never trust them. Whoa! Ah! Get away from me! Weirdo. You're giving me the creeps. Aw. Oh! Ah! Okay. Damn, this game has a lot of health. It's probably because when the last when we played this the first time, it like we were playing it uh, intermediately over like the course of like six to eight months, and so finding the health didn't feel like it was so plentiful because we were play playing and being stuck in so many areas that it was like we had been picked up a lot of health. How can I help you? Oh, so many stuffs. Quick arrow, violet sprite. Mmm, I do remember that purple spray. It was so good. I I'm talking about the drink. <laughs> Cast Protective Dark Saucery. That one's kind of cool. And then Quick Arrows, and then Pocket Incendiary. Adds flame damage to your attacks. I'm gonna just wait and just save up. Does not open from this side. Oh. Save time. Wow. Actually, making it pretty good. If we actually get more good at the path and stuff of this game. Maybe we'll even try a speedrun one day. That would be cool. We haven't tried any challenge runs in a game in a while. Not since we started doing um, no, no item bots runs in Resident Evil. Which, because using an item bots actually is kind of shit for us now. Like, we don't like it. And that was just our regular run. Oh, that was scary. Yay, more health. Float on. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, so many of these.
Oh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> it looked like a taunt since we did it in the middle of a combo. That was kind of cool. Ooh. What's that do? Ooh. What's that do? Ooh, what's that do? Ah, oh, I missed. Darn it. Okay. Oh, it came back down. Okay. Get ready. Fudge you. Haha, <laughs> secret passageway. I just knew it. <laughs> My character is so cute. Ah. Oh. Nope. I am leaving. Oh. What the heck? Okay, at least it goes in a straight line down. I love how, because of what we're used to and stuff, playing this game is a mix of, like, familiarity and surprise. Like, I don't remember what this does. I don't remember what this does. Oh, I remember how to do this, though. <laughs> Uh, these these statues freak me out because they look like uh, they would be an enemy even though they're not I guess that means the game is like themed really well got the black sachet. What does that do? Is that the thing? Applicable to one's chest Its scent might induce sudden frenzy heavily increases attack power at the risk of losing HP Oh, so you lose HP gradually, but you do more damage. Oh, nope Have we been down there yet? Yes and no. But there's a save point like really close. I'd rather save first. Oh, oh, oh gosh, we almost missed that jump. Oh, and that's not complete because we haven't gotten to the other side of that yet. Oh, I thought I was just gonna veer off the screen. Um, huh. That's weird. Like where that was sectioned at. But I'm pretty sure it'll make sense when we get to the other side of the door. Oh, the other side of the door. There's a movie called The Other Side of the Door, and it's like a horror movie, and we kind of like it. It's kind of messed up. It's it's like an allegory for um not messing with nature, because there's apparently like this ritual where you can talk to a dead loved one who's recently deceased, and this uh, guy uses it to talk to his wife, but he misses her so much, and he's like not able to uh, like respect the rules that he's been told uh that he brings her back to life permanently but it can't be permanently because you know it's against like the 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 natural order for a human who's died to be brought back to life and so like she said like sorry suddenly she slowly you know like loses her mind and like a whole bunch of supernatural stuff happens around her and it's just like the worst oh sorry no i actually Miss, Miss said it. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder if that's one of the developers in that picture. So the person who does it is actually the wife. And she does it for her son. And the ending is that she dies because of all the, all the dumb shit that she wrought. Because of all the ghosts and stuff. And because, of the, and because she died and because she didn't really tell her husband what was going on. He like checks her notes, finds out that she was doing the thing. And then at the end of the movie, she's on the, like, dead person side of the special door, or whatever. And he's like, and he doesn't even, uh, he doesn't even try to, um, to respect the ritual or whatever. He immediately opens the door upon hearing her voice for the first time. And because she knows everything that happened, she knows that he shouldn't do it. But it's, like, too late, and the movie literally ends with her, like, no, don't open the door. And he's like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
It's a, it's a pretty good movie. Um. <gasps> yes! I got the special item. Now I can get the true ending. But we'll have to wait till next week so we can make sure we have two separate saves so we can get both endings at once. <laughs> I totally understand. Uh, scary movies are a lot. Uh, I'm sure in a different, like, reality or whatever we don't actually watch scary movies because we never had to use it as a coping mechanism to uh get over the fact that our family would not not show us scary movies uh or just disturbing movies like because at, at a certain age a lot of movies with like uh violence especially like uh like bloody violence are like basically scary movies like we love the original Terminator movie. We like it more than uh, Terminator 2, which is not like a typical take, but it's just what it is. And part of the reason is we saw it so early in life. That it's just like, like just one of our, even if we didn't like it, it would kind of be seared into our memory. Not to mention that our one of our parents kind of used it to try to indoctrinate us into being like a thought leader because Weird. Didn't think that we'd talk about it so naturally on stream. But one of our parents wanted us to be the next Martin Luther King. And I don't know how much you know about the Terminator, but uh, uh, it's basically about a Jesus allegory. Because uh, John Connor, the person that the robots are trying to stop from being born in the first movie and trying to stop from growing up in later movies, uh, his initials are JC. He's a he's an allegory for uh, Jesus Christ, and our parent was so obsessed with her being Sarah Connor and us being John Connor, and was like, "You're gonna save the world. You're gonna be an amazing person." And maybe we are an amazing person. I don't think one person can save the world, though. I don't think that that's like a thing. I think it's really selfish to do so, and I also think that absolute power absolutely corrupts as well. So I don't even believe in that shit. Uh, and to that degree, I am kind of like uh, an anarchist or whatever, like no unjust hierarchies, and that sounds really hierarchical. Um, and obviously, like the whole gender component was just like so gross uh, later in life, because when we came out, it was like we knew that part of the reason that our parent was disappointed in us was because it was like, no, you were supposed to be a great man, you were supposed to be Martin Luther King. And I was like, mm, sorry that I'm not your puppet <laughs> and I'm not going to do it my life what you want me to do in my life. That was a really weird topic to go into from scary movies. But yeah, oh, we got to the other side. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we've been in the scary movies for a long time and it really helped us cope with life, especially because we had, um, what's that thing called? Uh... Wow, I can't remember the word. Night terrors. We had night terrors for like the first 18 or so years of our life. And uh, we didn't even know the word night terrors until we were like 19 or 20. So we didn't even know it could possibly be a medical thing. And so literally, like we didn't find out to, to it until after we had found a coping mechanism. Which was literally lucid dreaming. And you know, just being used to horror movies. And it's probably part of the reason we're so obsessed with horror themed things now. Even stuff like this that isn't always super scary. Like, this game is, like, super spoopy, which we really love about it. Yeah! <laughs> I also think it's, <laughs> um, what's the word, uh, uh, ironic that, uh, in your exasperation of that, it's just like, oh, Je what's it, Jesse Christ, and it's just like, oof, it's a lot. Yeah, we've had a really weird, weird life. But hey, uh, what was it, uh, Dumb shit makes the best stories, right? At least that's what we like to think. But like... And, and we're talking about it casually now. It's always been sort of casual for us just from the fact that like... Like I said... We were indoctrinated with the with these ideas. So like we're like five, six, seven, eight years old already having seen this thing and being told, you know, we live in a world where, you know, people like us are hated, i.e. black people. 
and you know we're going to be like the next step in the chain for people to like for like people to be free but not only just that like she was like we're gonna cure cancer and all this shit and it's just like as a kid and um, if you think about the thought process of a lot of kids of like oh i want to be an astronaut i want to be this i want to be that if you have a parent that's like you're going to be this you're going to be like you know one of the most important people to ever live it can kind of go to your head really really quickly and we have autism so it's just like ooh, this sounds like a cool story i want to be part of it oh hi boss so you are the one who engaged with fennel Turn back now, foreigner. Her highness does not want to be disturbed. All right, all the knights are evil except for the one that uh, asked us to help kill the queen. <laughs> Such impudence. Magnolia. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Two on one? All right, all right. I'm down. Oh, I don't have full health. All right, fudge it. I don't need full health. I'll say that and I'll probably die and shit. Can't be greedy with the attacks though. Oh shit, she's in armor. Of course my fudging arrows don't work. Whoa, I wanna play with her. This this game doesn't have a doesn't have a multiple character or whatever, but it would be so cool if it did. If there is anything that I can use to heal right now, that would be great. Nope, Black Satchel will just kill me. Mmm, I don't have to kill things. Yeah, I I guess I'm, I'm either dying or I'm just gonna have to try not to get hit. Nope, I died. Oddly similar to the stereotype of the bad Asian parent who is disappointed in anything less than perfection. I never even thought about it like that. But I mean, um, we talked about it in our last vlog on um, on YouTube. But uh, we 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 came from a family that was like very much like uh, intelligence is important. You have to be smarter than everyone. Like if you fail in these sort of ways, then you know you don't deserve to be our kid. Like it was fucked up. <laughs> uh, and so actually, that's that's a very apt description of, our, of the situation that we kind of had. What was it? What do they call those? Like a tiger mom, I think. Like oof. And like there was, I mean even though being black there was like that race component of you know like there's all the stereotypes about being black and like being lazy or being stupid or whatever and it was like like from jump in our life it was like no that's not true maybe it's true for other people but it's not true for anyone in this family especially not you and so that was kind of weird <laughs> Yeah, actually, in a way, coming out was one of the best things for us. Oh, snap! I got a secret on accident. Because uh, our parent didn't want anything to do with us af after uh, we came out to them as trans. And so it kind of saved us in a way, because, of course, like, like a lot of people, we didn't want to be ostracized from our family. We didn't want to, like not have our parent anymore especially because we only had one after that because uh our previous our previous parent our other parent had died of cancer a couple of years before so in a way we've always thought of ourselves since coming out as we're essentially an orphan because one of our parents is dead and the other parent is dead to us <laughs> sorry dead to us i'm dead to her yes i think that's how you would put it yeah, a lot of people have trouble letting their kids have their own life. And I mean, even though it always feels weird to, uh, like, put in, like, the leftist thingies in it, but I think that capitalism has a lot to do with that. We saw a meme recently that was, like, um, it was, like, the putting on clown makeup meme. And it was, like, oh, like, I have to go to, I have to go to school to get a good job, and I have to get a good job. Oh, I can kill these? I didn't even know that. I have to go to school to get a good job. And I have to get a good job to pay my bills, but I can barely pay my bills. And I have to 
uh, you know, survive and not really enjoy my life because most of my life is spent working and likely doing shit that I hate. And then, like, the full clown makeup part was literally, uh, I will give the gift of life to a, a child. And I think that it was kind of, like, almost Doomer-esque in, uh, in its thought process. But I do think that there is, like, that component of, like, oh, you're going to bring a child in this world just to suffer. There are certain people who don't want kids just from that. And that's before you even think about climate collapse. And, like, so many people feel feel like they didn't get to achieve these things that they wanted to in their life that they're like, oh, well, at least my kid can do it. And we definitely think our parent was, like, of that mindset. And it really sucks. Especially when, like, you're a certain age and you feel like you can't do a thing. Or you have kids and you're like, oh, I have so much responsibilities now, so I definitely can't. And it's like, your life's not over yet. And it kind of blows. <laughs> but some people aren't, aren't the worst. Although, although in the past we have gotten really jelly of our friends' parents or even partners' parent past partners' parents who um who had supportive parents who had parents that didn't disown them or didn't try to control their life or even I think what was worse was having uh, friends or whatever that did have those things but because they didn't get ostracized and they did have a choice to keep their family in their life they're basically like oh but they're family and you know a lot of people default to the no matter what a person does to me they're blood so I can't not do the thing and it's just like no that's not that's not the way it has to be and like when you have a choice it's really hard to make those decisions and we recognize that and we try to be a little bit better about that nowadays because it's not fair because the person needs to make their own choices and their own journey and it would be hypocritical for us to tell another person regardless of what we think we're uh you know uh thinking in their best interest that no you need to you know distance yourselves from this person because they're hurting you or whatever because at the end of the day, they need to be able to realize it for themselves and like make that choice because otherwise they'll always wonder. And that's not a good place to be either. Yes, I totally agree with you. I think uh, the way children are are treated in like society in general are like is really bad like i do think children should be protected i do think that like there are certain things that children should not be engaging with and that like like there is there's an importance of like the fact that you know i don't know that people don't move out at like 15 or something for example uh however there's like and some people don't want to admit that society looks at it like this but as far as we can tell, society kind of looks at children as though they're pets, as though they're property. And uh, even past 18, that some people have that, that uh, headspace about their kids. And it's just like, they are their own people and like, they have rights. Like, just the whole thing of like, oh, you can like hit your kids or whatever that's gone on for so long to the point where certain parents were like, uh, mad that there was a possibility. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna farm just for those that last a little bit. Um, that, oh, like, of course, of course they don't have rights. I've known people who have literally said, oh, you're a child, you don't have rights or whatever. And it's like, no, like, if you do something bad and I want to hit you, then I get to hit you. And it's just like, no, that's not... That's not good, and it kind of trains people to be okay with that sort of shit from people who are supposed to care for them and love them. And then, and then those same fucking parents will get mad when their kid is in an abusive relationship and can't leave, especially if they end up financially dependent on that partner, and it's a lot more complicated than just walking out the door. And it's like, oh, you're not okay with it when other people are doing it. It's just okay when you're doing it. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's like... 
at what point would would a kid even even have rights? Like, I don't know. I think I think it's always been weird for us because we literally had um we had a family member call um a relative a baby and they were like a cousin of ours. And at the time we were like 16 or 17. And the family member they were talking about was like 22 or something, and it's like, oh, well, if they're a baby, I must be a fucking fetus then. And it was just so jarring, and I guess it was like a red flag, but like when it's family stuff, you you put it into this different box, I guess. At least that's what we did. Oh, we're so close to 2000. Like, how dare you let another person abuse you? Yeah, it's like so fucking tragic, I think. And I mean, uh, there's even like less egregious. Well, I shouldn't say less egregious, it's still bad. There's less, uh, I guess, recognized ways that children are treated and like reared to not see their own autonomy and not see themselves as people i think something has been really big especially with uh with people talking about like raising uh, uh femme kids specifically because there's the whole like uh you know gender bullshit of like the fact that you know was it one in one in three women are sexually abused or abused by their their partners or someone in their life at some point um i think especially around around the time me too became a thing there was this uh this conversation that started up that was literally you need to tell your kids that they can say no to hugs from family members for example because if they see a person and because of their status in their life they don't think they can say no to like physical contact and that they have to then that kind of sets them up to think that if they love someone or they care about someone or they think that someone cares about them then they have the right to disregard their autonomy and i thought that was such a good thing and i kind of and it's kind of one of those things that i got really sad about that that was happening right that that was a conversation that had to happen right now because we didn't we didn't get a chance to say no like and we've known people even in work positions where it's like, oh, you don't want to hug your Uncle Dave? Well, now you're going to get a spanking or something. And people need to know that it's okay to say no. And like the whole thing of like, you know, not just not just not getting a no, but like enthusiastic consent and not just obviously what sets with like everything. Like a person's a person's a person's a person. God, <laughs> I went on a whole tangent. Well, not a whole tangent. I went on a whole diatribe, I should say. Oh, yeah. The nuclear family is gross. Although, like, it, I feel like it's, at this point, it's not the norm. It's just the ideal. Hey, I almost at 2000. <laughs> 1987. I wasn't alive during that year. I'm almost at the year I was alive. Almost. Oh, no. Went too far. Oh, went way too far. I was born the year Sonic 2 came out. Oh, wait. I have 2000 now. <laughs> uh, because it's like, you know, so many single parents and stuff that it nuclear family is like really hard to attain nowadays. And now with like the extraordinarily this extraordinarily high amount of people that are like coming out as queer and stuff and like unfortunately being disowned and like being rendered homeless and stuff there's a lot of families that like they could have been nuclear families but they didn't actually love their kids or their love was so conditional that it didn't actually they didn't actually care about their kid as much as they cared about who they thought their kit was gonna be. Yeah, we need to respect and teach people consent from a young age and continue to teach and respect consent in every stage of life and environment. Yes, yes, 100% yes. It's 
is so important. And it's like... I think... Uh, you know, just being a, a millennial or whatever is just so hard because we've kind of been in this renaissance of, like, mental health awareness. But it's come at such a late time that, like, you know, it's like preparing the next generation or whatever. But now that there's, like, so much displacement of, like, people being okay in general... And, like, I've even seen, uh, there's, like, news articles and stuff of, oh, like, people aren't having enough kids and shit like that, where it's like, well, of course, a lot of people don't feel like they could take care of a kid, even if they know what they need to do to, like, not be abusive or whatever, like, they have a certain amount of dysfunction, or they don't have financial stability, and they don't want to be that, that person that hurts their kids, even inadvertently. Okay. All right. Ooh, just gotta do some stretches. All right for the boss fight. All right. All right. This isn't gonna. That's not gonna matter. Okay. So we got the incendiary, and then we don't need to drop. Need them to drop more money. Um. Status ailments. Necklace of Sacrifice. I actually would rather just use the Black Satchet. Alright. Just just keep going, just keep going. Magnolia! Oh, Magnolia doesn't even say anything. I was like, oh, I want to see what Magnolia says. Oh, I'm doing extra extra damage because I have the black thingy and I'm doing fire damage. Damn, that must hurt. This reminded me of there's this thing in D&D &D, uh, that uh, I didn't I learn from like what, looking at D&D &D, like YouTube channels or podcasts or whatever. And it's literally this thing that um, it's a heat spell, but it just it just uh, it just makes armor hot. Oh. Hello. Do you get a thingy too? Yep. Oh, but yeah, it heats up uh, weapons and armor. So, if you have armor, you will literally, uh... Wow! Double KO! Wow! The thing we were gonna say, it makes you drop, like, a weapon if you're holding it, if it's made of metal. Or, if you're in full metal armor, it will just murder you because it'll just set on fire and, like, cook you inside of it. That was actually a cool ass boss fight, even though we lost. Also, most older millennials, 30 to 35, are only in a financial slash stable position equivalent to when their parents were 18 to 20. <gasps> oh, you're right. Fudge, that's that's actually kind of scary. <laughs> I mean. It I didn't even think of think about it like that, even though like amongst uh, my peers that I've known, uh, like the friends that I've had, I remember being at a party and like a bunch of people got their uh, cars towed uh, because of some dumb stuff, like with like the person's house of the party being at was like uh, they basically had made it so sorry not the person who lived there but like the building like had weird hours on when they would tow and they changed it at the last second or something and it was like ridiculous and uh and i remember everyone being like oh like if anyone can't afford whatever then like you know i can just go into my savings but like 10 people were like were saying that and so like there was only like eight people who were getting their cars towed, so literally everyone had savings enough to, to deal with the backlash. And we don't drive, and our partner at the time didn't drive, so we weren't, we didn't have to deal with that, but we felt really fucking awkward, because it was like, if we had to deal with that right now, we would, we would suck. We would not be able to do anything, we would have to ask for help.
<laughs> LOL Rosetti chicken spell. <laughs> Rotisserie chicken spell, sorry. It's the one the evil witch uses to jumpstart the people stew. Oh, gosh, you have such good sense of humor. So you are the one that engaged with the fennel. Turn back now, foreigner. Her highness does not want to be disturbed. Such impudence. Magnolia! Alright. Mother fudge cake. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Alright. Oh, Wait, that still do damage because I have fire arrows now? Nah. Oh shit, I'm about to die anyway. Okay, I won't use the black satchel. I'm taking way too much damage because of it. But I'm still doing that fire thingy. But is there anything that's even useful to me at that point then? Uh, maybe the poison arrows. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, the fudging uh, tainted missive is probably better because it takes a, it takes health away like automatically. Also, maybe I should try to actually get to the uh, boss without taking any damage. Totally headcanning these two girls as pals. Training partners, if you catch my drift. Yeah, yeah, I, I think they, they train really hard together. Oop, that was good. Fire and poison! Double combo! Okay. Now I need to check. Do I have the thingy? Because if I have the thingy that makes uh, poison uh, heal me, then that would actually be great. Because I could just poison myself to heal me. Nope, I do not have it. That's okay, though. I'll be okay. I hope I can poison her, though. I wish the, the sequels to this game were actually, like... What's the word? Like, canonically relevant to each other? Mother fudge cake! Hey, I need to get her next to a wall because if it's bouncing off of her, she won't get poisoned. Uh, I might not be able to make it work. Okay, literally I was being so impatient. Oh. Cause I'm barely ever getting hit by uh, Magnolia's arrows. Oh, okay. I'm sure I'll be able to poison Magnolia though. She's not wearing armor. <laughs> uh, Lupere is like, uh, is like the tank, and Magnolia is like long-range DPS. Oh, hi!
Oh, I got poisoned by my own shit. It's okay. I know you're kind. <coughs> Just like the partner, you stand against our queen. <coughs> Blinded by faith. The queen would never hurt us. I, I'm actually kind of sad. They believe in their queen so much, but she's been killing everyone. What the fuck? <laughs> um. Yes. We are actually almost at the end of the game. So maybe we actually will beat it right now. We can save it, get the bad ending. And then go back and get the good ending. It really just depends. <sighs> yeah, this game isn't very long when you actually know what you're doing. Oh! Ha! <laughs> Flinchies! Two for flinching. Oh, I can make the spire flinch too! Probably because of fire. Ah, oh, fire weapon is so good. Boop. Whoa. Uh. Hi there. Welcome to Karst Castle, human. That black dress. A sacrifice maiden from Lun, I presume? Perhaps even your methods wouldn't be enough to save us. To truly purify this curse, perhaps you would need a special blessing. Meow. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about the thing I need to do to my uh, weapon to get the uh, special ending. The special ending. The true ending. I actually never actually fought the final boss because I was like, oh shit, I'm about to fight the final boss, and I turned around. Uh, saved it, and then didn't play it for long enough that all the bad shit that happened in my life and my life changed, and then I for totally forgot about this game. <laughs> Wait, the fudge? Fuck you. Getting in my way like that. Mmm, heal. Okay. Oh, the music is so subdued here. It's actually... Kind of thrilling. Save. What's this? Oh, I guess I have to unlock that. Do do do. That is a good idea. I should try to talk to the cat as a cat, but I might get some special dialogue. Ha, <laughs> you tried to surprise me. Well, I just realized this game does the same thing that kind of like Resident Evil uh, like 4 and 5 and stuff do, with like the sounds of enemies telling you their location, because I knew that was going to come probably from behind me. I mean, that enemy doesn't really have a tell fast enough for me to dodge, but the other enemies do. It would be funny if all you got was a bunch of meows. <laughs> that would be kind of cute. Oh. Whoa. Oof. Well, at least I got through. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Fudge. Wow. Ah. Transform. Heal. Heal. Ooh. Dodge. So I guess technically this is the last area. Oh, that was so cool! I like it when I'm impressed by my own moves. <laughs> ah, spiders. Oh! There we go. Oh. 
Oh, so I, the boss that was like, oh, with the handkerchief, I don't actually need to fight her. I can skip her altogether. I still don't have the item that I need to actually fight her. Okay, just remember, there is one last boss before the queen. Do 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 do. Mother fudge cake. Okay. Wow, that moon is big as hell in the sky right now. Cat time! Oh! Wow, did I misremember? Huh. Maybe I misremembered. Oh, he at least. Oh, that's so cute! Magical girl spin, but as a cat. It was like the Huma Sona. Better not be it. Okay, I was really worried it was gonna be a, um. Oh, uh, what do you call those things again? Um, a mimic. Really thought it was gonna be a mimic. There's no way I can get back up there. Those little purple blobby enemies are super cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, they look like they have like a little skirt. Ooh. Cat attack. I'm a, I'm really worried about that. I can I I'm gonna save first. Cause I'm like, I don't know if I can get past those spikes. Eh. I got hit, but that's okay. Oh. Good thing there's a save bell right here. Do 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 floating into the sky. Sometimes dodging enemies actually will get you hit. Oh, I just barely made it. What's this way? Okay, mm, I feel like the up way is like the way out. <laughs> Man, I love making that enemy flinch. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, those were cute. Oh! More items. Oh, nice. <laughs> I actually have to let the air clear or I'll poison myself. What's this? Got a bellflower. Ooh, I got more healies. <laughs> I am squishy for healies. Oh, wow, even more health. Nice. All right, I'm glad I went this way. Do do do. Do do. Oh, wow. I didn't think I, I'd make it up there. Oh, she doesn't see me. And goodbye. Gosh, that air dash is so OP. Oh, hi. Oh, that was some really cool enemy placement. Fudge it. I don't need that in my life. Heal. Oh, nice. Whoa, monies. Oh, I lost a little bit, but that's okay. Goodbye. 
They're like little crows. They caw caw caw. Boop boop. 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 <gasps> oh no! Cow. Uh. <sighs> Please. End my suffering. As you wish. I knew that was going to happen, but I still didn't want it to. She's the only character I ever got to fight with in battle, so she's really my only ever ally. What's the item I got from her do? Fully restores the user's HP. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a good one. You only get one. Too bad it wasn't useful for her. I know I was going to be sad during this stream, but I thought it was going to be just from Shadow of the Colossus, not from this. Why is this one red? Oh, okay. I was like, what the fudge? I was like, I didn't think I'd be able to make it back. I thought it would just auto die. Uh... Knew there was another boss! But there's no health bar. That's not normal. Maybe it has two fa- Ah! Anime bullshit! And arrows don't work. And I was like, if arrows don't work, then I don't need to be a human. <laughs> Ah! Don't hurt the kitty! I guess that makes it a little bit scarier. And I think this is the first outright ghost we fought. Like, I think that witch might be, you know, someone you could say that, like, maybe she's not exactly fully human or whatever, but every other uh, boss we fought was. Well, other than the, the big crow thing, they all seem to be not spirits. What are those she's throwing at me? God damn it. Yeah, I was trying to wait for her tell. Ah. Okay, I did damage. Oh, they're batarangs? Oh, the giant lady, uh, I don't think she was a spirit. I mean, they kept saying that she was a witch. So I thought she was just like a hyper-powered witch. Uh, Lula Bella. But I think I killed her. Like, I think she's dead dead now. Although it would have been cool to have a boss die and then come back as a ghost. Okay, 
Okay, I got a lot of heals. That's good. I was like, I don't, I, I don't need to be a human. And I was like, I forgot I can't fudging a uh, heal as a cat. Oh, just because one of them blasts me does not mean I was a real one. Um. Oh, uh, one of them looks more solid than the others, I think. Yeah. Well, nope, I don't think that worked either. Fudge Roonies. Yes, this fight is very confusing. Indeed. Oh wait, I should probably go this way. Oh, that fight was stressful. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not dealing with anything spike related. I'm not trying to die. I just beat probably the scariest boss in the game, considering it. She did not have a health bar. Okay. Oh, I saved. I feel so bad for her. Um, let's see. Oh, this part is a dead end, so I need to teleport anyway. Okie dokie. Warp. Uh, oh wait, that's the first area. <laughs> Uh. Okay. That's annoying. That's real annoying. Can I not? Uh, maybe as a cat? This is my time to head out to sleep. Have a good rest of your stream. Thanks for uh, stopping by, Twelve Face. Oh, I can only go down. I see a place I haven't been. So that's probably a place I need to go. Whoop. Just skipping you. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. I had to go through there to do the boss stuff. That was a whole lap I just did. Okay. Okay, almost there. Okay. I 
That's what you get for trying to kill me. Alright. Straight up. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I can't even touch her. <laughs> I accidentally poisoned myself. This is a ridiculous setup. Just want to check if there's anything I'm missing. I don't want. No, 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 no. Why? This isn't fair. Huh. Cries and gay. <laughs> Big bullies. <sighs> I guess this is my retribution. Okay. Alright. This is the last save point. Oof. Okay, Ducky. Okay, uh. Yeah. Wonder what that was. Accursed Queen of Crust. Oof. Okay, I can dodge. I've never fought her before. I didn't even know what she looked like. Or that she doesn't even say anything. And her knights trusted her? She looks like a freaking demon! Oh, I love this boss music. Tainted Mr. Please. Oh, I did not mean to waste that. All right, better make it count. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? And she's a boss that doesn't flinch. Lucky me. Oh, nice to hide me. I didn't even think about the fact that she probably has two forms since she's the final boss. Ah, ah, ah! I did poison her though. Heal. Yep. Of course. I mean, why wouldn't she have two forms? She's the final fudging boss. I I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Can you stop, please? Thank you. Fudge. Fudge, I am dead. I have lost. It's all over now. I, I, I think I poisoned to death. <sighs> all right. Let's see. No, I'm gonna keep the poison. I do think I'll end up using the black sachet, but I think I'll wait until the uh, second phase towards the end. Um, we'll use that. That'll probably be good. Um, oh. I had an item to increase the tag without doing me damage. That's... Awkward. Okay. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna save it just so that I can, uh... Not have to redo my items. Okay, 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 okay. 
I'm excited. I'm excited. And it's like no preamble. She just goes straight into it. She doesn't give a fudge who I am. It's like, I don't recognize you. I don't know why you're here. You're dead. Damn, the charge shot actually does a hell of a lot of damage. Mother fudger. Damn it. I hate that getting hit knocks my charge out, but I, I, I think it makes sense. Poison myself like an idiot. Oh, that was a thing. All right, all right. <sighs> okay, getting that first chart shot off is been really helpful, but I should not rely on the chart shots. that charge for so long hoping I would get her towards the ground. Mother fudge cake! Okay, stay in the center, stay in the center, stay in the center. Um, no, don't switch, don't switch yet, don't switch yet. Oh, yes, I can do this, I can do this. Yeah, <laughs> boring. Oh, okay, now switch to the black sachet. Does so much damage. That does. Ha okay, okay. Black Satchel is not is not on the table. I I thought that I was just being really clumsy. I didn't realize that even at f with full health, it does half damage. I think the starting amount of health that you start the game with, it would have been one hit KO. Holy fudge. Ooh. 
Oh fuck, fuck. I almost clumsied myself into that uh, attack. Shit, like I did that time. I think I will use the Black Satchet just for uh, when she starts our second phase and I just have to stand in that one spot and jump. That's the only time it's going to be safe to be spending my health like that. Ah, poisoned. Oh, I never even thought about it. What if I use the fire? Uh, pocket incendiary. Yep, does more damage. And I don't have to risk being poisoned. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning here and there. Oh, I'm getting a little nervous. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Black Satchet. Oh, wow! They put a limit on how much damage I can do to her during this part. That's so... Freaking smart! From a developer standpoint. But I'm mad, because I wanted to fucking cheese her! Ah. Uh. What am I equipping? <sighs> Necklace of Sacrifice, that's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> it was only a little cheese. <laughs> I have to be careful for when she does that fudging explosion. Oh, okay, a lot of her stuff is still in the same thingy. She just does extra stuff. <gasps> her attacks look a lot like the one night I fought. I wonder if she gave her knight's powers. Oh. I really hope she doesn't have a third phase. Perfect chance to charge. Oh yeah, you're fucking dead, Queenie. That fucking Dragon Ball Z ass move. Get out of here. So that's the bad ending. Kaho, the high priestess from the village of Lan, failed in her mission of sealing away the curse. The world of the living was further infested by spirits of the dead, who continued to spread misery throughout the world. Bad ending. Oh, the game is like, bad ending means you get no satisfaction at all. She's I I was like, but that's a double KO. We could beat this game in under three hours? The fudge. Alright. Alright, let's warp to where is it? We wanna go to Car City. I mean it makes sense. It doesn't make me happy in any way, shape, or form, but it makes sense. Uh I think this is yep. I 
don't know. It felt like kind of a cheapo way to do the ending, especially because uh, the I'm gonna have an easier time uh, with the with my upgraded weapon. Because it does more damage. And so I'm kind of like... The fact that it's harder to get the bad ending. Like, play-wise. Just feels... A little cheap. Okay, I guess I went the wrong way. Cause we passed it like so many times on this on this playthrough. It was just like, yep, I can't get it now. Nope, I can't get it now. And then I was like, I want to get the bad ending first. <sighs> Wrong way. Huh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I landed right on the spikes! Oh, that's so funny! Okay, forlorn monastery and then go backwards, I guess. Or down and backwards? I'm trying to remember exactly which way it would have been. Boop. Because it's technically in Car City, it's just... Not immediately a place that I would end up, <laughs> I guess. Where did I look for something on purpose? I can't budging find it. Can I just... Yep, yes I can. Wow. Mother fudge cake! <gasps> Whew. Almost got spiky spiked. This is so annoying. Yeah, that's about how it goes. I can barely even find something that I need when I need it, but I'll find it when I don't. Yep, it's just like finding your lost keys or something. Oof. I found an extra ivory bug! <laughs> 420. Blaze it! Okay. <laughs> I can fly. Do 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 do. Do do do. Oh, okay. I think it's this way. Wait, so this smoke to clear, so I'll get fudging thingy. -eat. Uh, yeah, now I'm even more confused, because it just, uh, I'm supposedly in one area, and then I end up in a place for another, and it's just like, can I not, though? Yeah, it was the way to the cat lady. I see you've made some progress heading to the castle still? I see you've made some progress. Hang to the castle still? The source of this mess. KKK. Where her highness made a contract with the underworld, certainly she did not expect this outcome. Or did she? Oh, for the success of your endeavors, maiden from Lund. Face the loyalty that remains, if it has not turned to fear yet. Huh. I didn't know she had extra dialogue. That's cool. Still... Not what I want.
I am lost. Yes, I am. I'm so lost. I could spam. Huh, <laughs> sit, sit, snai. I want applesauce. I don't know why I want applesauce, but I do. Okay, where do I teleport to now? Let's go to the front of the Forlorn Monastery again. And maybe I just missed it. Sure, I'll find it. Yes, finally. Uh, is it Seal Wind? There's no other effect in here, I think. As far as I know. Bathe the maple leaf in hibisco tea? Got fresh spring leaf. <laughs> Hibiscus leaf. This blessed leaf is able to purify the source of the curse. Okay then. Eh. What the? Okay, I was like, what the fudgies? Ah! Well, I'm about to take damage no matter what I do. Goodbye. Tasty leaf. Mm-hmm. I want hibiscus tea. And I think we will play this a little bit next time, and we'll just try to do this uh, boss right here. Because we'll have the stronger leaf, and we can probably do the thing you want to do, and do it without getting hit more easily. Then we'll have beaten every boss in the game, as far as I know. Alright, back to Karst Castle. Alright, time to finally end this. Uh, not that way. Oh, I can dodge like an actual... Priestess of Lun dies. Immediately fudging dies. Like, I'm, I'm so special. Okay, I just need to make sure it was the, that I did not save it or something. That would have been so lame. And again, I do the thing because it just, it's what makes sense to my brain. Oh, wow. Still took damage. Whatever. I do wish it let me teleport just to the queen, though. That's like... A little bit of a bummer. Especially because the, there's a save point right next to the queen. Right. They made me go this anti antithetical way, because usually it's like, oh, you need to go to the right to like, you know, be going the correct way in most games like this, but it's like, actually, this time you need to go to the left. Don't care. Uh, 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 I'm kind of nervous and hyper. That's why I'm not really attacking enemies, because it's just like, you don't matter that much. Uh, 
Oh. Lame. I guess I shouldn't rush it or I'll make mistakes. Oh, I'm not uh, making them flinch because I don't have the fire on. Although I'm not going to lie, to a certain degree, I kind of get it because they don't want to make it too easy to get to the queen and totally makes sense for it not to be easy to get to the queen. It's just because of having the warp ability, it just feels kind of cheap to not be able to. Heal so I don't auto die. Alright. Finally! Okay, is this the setup that I want? Pike Incendiary, Sacrifice... Uh... No... this one. Okay. Make sure I charge up. Alright. Final battle time. I missed all my charge shots! Okay, so... Heal, and then Black Satchet, and then I'll just go all out, Tainted Missive. Oh, fudge, fudge, fudge! Uh, oh, right, I took my healing off. Oh. Good heal. Now I can switch to the Bellflower and not have to worry about that. Shit. Goodbye. Uh, uh, is there a third phase? There's a third phase. There's a third phase. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. I thought it was so cool. Beating her so fast. All right. Tainted missive off. Um, fudge. Fudge, I'm fucking scared. Freaking game signed well and stuff. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, it's like, now this is how the true ending is harder to get. Yes. Yes, it is. That's why I get for trying to speedrun that, that boss fight thinking I was just like, ah, now I win. That's why I fudging get. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Her first phase is is pretty easy to get at this point. If 
fudge. Well, at least collision with her isn't like too bad. Got greedy. Oh. She is definitely a curse it. Wow, that fudging explosion is, uh, OP. I'm doing pretty good, though. I only used up two heals, and I haven't used up my special heal yet. Okay, stay in the center, even though I might get damaged just for being in front of her, but I'd rather not get caught in that fudging explosion again. Oh, it's the center part that's her. Oh, I might as well do not tainted missive, but what is it? This one. I don't know what the fudge that- oh, shucks! Alright! Alright! Alright, Queenie! Oh! Giving me a lot to worry about here! Okay. Okay. I think I got a pattern down. Mostly. I mostly have a pattern down. Oh, I have to heal. I have to heal or I'm dead. But now's my last heal. Which totally means I should just go all out. Wow, the dodge roll is better than the jump. Uh, uh, come on, I almost got it, almost got it. Wow, it's almost there. <sighs> Bitch ass queen. There's so many <laughs> shapes to keep track of. <laughs> I failed geometry. Uh, I got C minus. <laughs> okay. The thing is, with the tells, it's really distracting because I, my character uh, flashes and stuff, her character flashes, then there's the triangles, even during this phase. And so it's just like, ah, whew, it's just a lot to keep track of. I'm just a little bit better anticipating it now just because I've had to deal with it so much.
Shit. Fuck! Ah, oh, I was trying not to get hit. I'm not gonna let this game make me a perfectionist, but shit. I was doing so well. I mean, I'm still doing well. What am I talking about? Fuck. Okay. Heal. And then hopefully I can get her down with my charge chat. Got her. Alright, alright, alright. Come on. Come on! Okay, uh, let's see. Fuck that. Oh, well, actually, taking a missive early since I. Since I can't spare the health right now. Heal, heal. Still took hit damage. Oh, if I got hit by touched by that, it would have been all over. All right, that's it for those. Uh, none. Oh wait, don't I have a... was it Crystal Sea? Yep. Yeah, that's the attack that's been really getting me. As long as I don't fuck this up, my, this battle's over. Unless it's a fourth phase. Then I'm just fucked. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> fuck you, geometry. What happened to um, my character? Is she dead again? But she did win? Thank you. <laughs> when the curse from east reached the villain of Len, a priestess was sent on a sacred mission to seal it away. The priestess triumphed over the dark. Stopping the spread of the curse by drawing it into her body. But she faded away in the process. <laughs> now only a faint memory of her story remains. Passed on as tradition. Even so, her spirit of determination lingers on guiding younger priestesses towards finding peace. <laughs> I beat the game!
She didn't even talk. Why am I so sad? Because I played with her and I was her. Like, I projected on her. Like, way before I even beat this game just now. Like, I was like, I want to cosplay as her. She is so cute. She, she inspires me. And did that fucking thing that art does to you where it's like, ah, yes. I love this character, yeah, it's like the thing that video games do, and it's like, ah, I feel just like this character, I feel like I have the determination, it wasn't just her determination that won, it was my determination that won, our determination that won. I'm so sad she had to die. But it was her choice, because she took it into herself, and so it was, um... She knew what it would do. She was strong and brave. I want to be strong and brave like her. Because sometimes you get hurt when you do things to help. And sometimes you don't get to be included in the happy ending. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh. I've cried a little on stream before, but not full on tears. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> I was happy to play. <sighs> this is a great game. This is one of my favorite games now. Would you like to save over your current file? By doing so, you'll start a new journey with from the beginning with some changes. I was gonna do the thing, but I can I can start a new game and do that. It's important. I, I want I want I want my progress. It was important. to look up what the new game plus is if it's just harder or whatever I have the green leaf I have all the items I just <sighs> oh I didn't know I could break that in midair that's cool huh this used to be a safe point. That's a that's a change. New game plus has less safe points. Maybe I need to beat the first boss, which is fine. I don't mind doing that before switching over to Shadow. Holy shit! Oh, <gasps> I forgot. I don't have the boost. Right, I have it's new game plus, but the part of the upgrade system is literally part of the upgrade system is literally the um the stuff that gives you some of your bonuses. Wow. Oh jeez. I'm still reeling. <laughs> I 
Okay, here's a save point. Okay, progress saved. Um, we're gonna get some water to rehydrate since we just lost water in a way we don't usually use water, lose water. And, uh, and then we'll be right back with Shadow Colossus in like five or so minutes. Thank you everyone for watching. <laughs> Sorry for being such a crybaby. <laughs>